Right. For all the guys who are winding the transformers, uh, the bi-filler and the tri-filler windings uh, can be really, really tricky to do by hand. And I found that uh, a long time ago there was an easy way of doing this. This is just a spare bit of wire I've got. And what I'm going to do is straighten them out as much as I can and leave them in a, a gap and get these kind of vice pliers that I have and just keep them in a reasonably big gap and grip them in the vice pliers try and get them a bit tight if you can I'll just put them in there a bit of rubber over the ends just to stop them damaging the uh, wires the reason for the gap is is when you line them all up you want them to try and spin at an even speed so you bring them all together at one point here and then you put them in a drill bit like this push them in a wee bit and do them reasonably tight now we have it should be kind of reasonably tight if it's a little bit slack just try and make them all as, as even as you can on this because if you don't then one is like this has just happened it's come out so we can do this again I'll tighten this up a bit more take it out even it up it's probably better to do it this way anyway first Get them all nicely spaced out and get evenly spaced out as you can like this and then put them in the vice grips like so it's not quite right a little bit tricky but once you've got it right then that's it so then you've got it like that and then really really slowly pull the trigger Don't pull tight, just get it so it looks. You might get a couple of wee bumps, but they seem to sort themselves out a bit. And then stop. Slacken off the ends, and you will find it will not unwind. And it comes out quite nice looking. There's only one little kink in this bit here, but to be honest, I had that on my ones, and it wasn't a big deal. Once I'd wrapped it round the toroids, it actually came out really, really nice, as you can see there. Um, and there's enough on the ends to get them all done. Um, that's maybe a bit too tight at the end there, but if you've got a lot, then you can cut these bits off. Uh, you usually do have a lot with them anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's that's how to do it. Keep it nice and even, nice and spaced out, and um, and hopefully it should be okay. Um, take your time with it, because you really only get one crack at this. Now, if you want to do it by hand, then by all means carry on, but I found that this worked really well. Um, so thank you very much. Goodbye from Ricky GM0VUI.